this is the Gamont British News, presenting the world to the world. Tribute is paid to a great soldier by two of Britain's frontline towns, Dover and Hastings, who confer their freedom upon Field Marshal Viscount Montgomery. At Dover College, cadets of all three services parade for inspection. During Monty's speech, the youngsters have what will probably be their only experience of being apologized to by a field marshal. Now, I'm, the only thing I'm sorry about is that we were a little bit late here. We got delayed down the road. I, I, I was all right. The mayor was a bit late. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I expect you got a bit cold. You got a bit cold waiting, and I'm very, very sorry about it. And anything we could do to warm you up, I would gladly do. Are they going to march away? March sir. Yes, sir, we will march past. March past. And with those marching orders, the parade proceeds to warm up in no uncertain manner. Hastings gave another big welcome to an old friend who chatted with ex-servicemen and recalled old times and old battles. Over at the other side of the town, the field marshal got a very special greeting from Hastings fishermen as he prepares to climb aboard the lifeboat. And after what he tells them, well, he just couldn't be more popular. And I've been up in the other part, the other part of the town, and they said, you wait till after lunch and you'll go to the proper part of the town. <laughs> and, here... and here's how Monty became a member of the Fisherman's Own exclusive Winkle Club. Well, this emblem that we're going to present to Monty, I'm going to call him, the same as he's known, is one of the most delicious things that comes from the bottom of the sea. That's a winkle. <laughs> and Monty is one of the most delicious men that was on the earth. Yeah. 